cow's milk is so bad for the environment, what kind of milk should I drink instead? Move over, soy. There's a new trendy milk in town. Oat milk. This is oat milk. It's one of dozens of non-dairy milks to enter the dairy alternative scene over the last 20 years. And we came up with this line. It's like milk, but made for humans. Very simple. Oat milk is literally a scam. Let me explain. When the Swedish company Oatly launched oat milk in America back in 2016, it was presented as the coolest, sexiest, hottest new milk on the block. A plant-based lifestyle is for everyone and anyone. It's not just for hipsters. Not a hipster. According to Oatly, oat milk is healthier than cow's milk. You see, a plant-based lifestyle is not about who, it's about why. And anyone can eat plant-based if they feel like being more sustainable and helping the planet out. Anyone? That's right, Al. Anyone. And that if you bought their overpriced oat water, you would reduce your carbon footprint by 73%. So obviously, everyone bought in. I mean, why not? It looks like milk. It tastes like milk. It foams up in lattes like milk. And according to them, it's even better than real milk. When in reality, oats plus water alone tastes horrible. So to get commercial oat milk to taste as good as it does, these companies jam a ton of seed oils and chemicals into it, like dipotassium phosphate, a food additive that has been linked to kidney disease and early death, rapeseed oil, aka canola oil, which is a seed oil, and then there's maltose, a sugar whose glycemic load is double that of white sugar. In fact, one serving of oat milk has the same blood sugar effect as a can of Coke. And gram for gram, oat milk has the same amount of seed oils as french fries. Wow, now that sounds healthy. See, these oat milk companies don't care about protecting your health. No, oat milk is a marketing ploy. A marketing ploy to make as much money as possible by selling you imitation milk that is way cheaper to produce than real milk. And all of us fell for it. Welcome to Evil Food Supply. And this is the Great Oat Milk Scam. Not only is food getting worse, but cybercrime is also getting worse. With money lost to cybercrime doubling since 2020, that's why you gotta protect yourself and your parents online. And the app we trust to do that is our sponsor, Aura. Aura is the award-winning super app that combines everything you need to protect yourself online. From financial fraud protection to identity theft protection, antivirus software, and a built-in password manager, Aura has it all with just one affordable subscription. And although this stuff may sound like it will never happen to you, think about your parents or grandparents. Think about how easy it is to fool them online. Thankfully, Aura has a family plan where for one affordable price, you can protect up to five adults and unlimited kids. All you have to do is get enrolled, activate protection, and that's it. Then whenever something suspicious happens, like someone tries to open a credit card in your name, you'll get notified. Aura is so confident that they even give you a million dollars in insurance to cover eligible losses and fees due to identity theft. And you get a 60-day money-back guarantee. And if you sign up right now with the link below, Aura.com slash Evil Food, Aura will give you a 14-day free trial. And you will be shocked at how much of your personal information Aura finds exposed in just those two weeks. So pause the video and go to Aura.com slash Evil Food to get protected now. Uh-uh-uh, I said a meatball, meat, meatball, I said a meatball. Um, ah. <gasps> uh. Oh! Um, uh, is that? <laughs> Selling oat milk is actually a genius move. Why? Because oats are one of the cheapest crops on the planet. A pound of oats only costs you a mere five cents, and you can turn that five cent pound of oats into 15 liters of oat milk. Add in some water and boom, you have a carton of milk-like liquid that costs you mere pennies to make that you can sell for insanely high margins at the grocery store. Now compare this business model with real milk. 
All these dairy farmers have to slave away day and night, feeding the cows, milking the cows, taking care of the cows, to the point where their milk costs $1.11 per liter to make, where they can only sell it for an average of $4.80 at the grocery store. While Oatly, the retail price of one liter of Oatly is an insane $5.30, while their ingredients are psychotically cheaper. They're pretty simple beings, corporations. So they're chasing growth and profit at all times. And this is a great way to generate growth and profit. Add new marketing lines. Uh, they're highly profitable because you charge more. It's well known that these vegan processed foods are more expensive than their counterparts in meat, and dairy, and vegetables. Sometimes oat milk is even double the price of regular milk. But hold on, you can't just dump oats and water into a box and expect people to hand over their hard-earned money for it. Because real homemade oat milk with no added sugar tastes like garbage juice. You need to make sure your product tastes immaculate. It needs to look, feel, and taste even better than cow's milk. And how do you make oat water taste like the real thing? With a little bit of big food engineering. I like it. It's got a nice nutty flavor to it. It's like mandarin, strawberries, lemons, grass, leather, lollipop, pineapples, pears, bubble gums. It's like awake some flavors you had from your childhood. So why does Oatly taste like liquefied ice cream while homemade oat milk tastes like dirt? The secret is in the enzymes. Oatly adds an enzyme to their oat water mix called amylase which basically pre-digests it. This is exactly what happens in your mouth when your saliva breaks down starchy foods into simple sugars. And these enzymes seem pretty innocent, but breaking down oats like this causes a very specific type of sugar to form, maltose. And maltose is sickeningly sweet with a glycemic index of 105. For comparison, white sugar has a glycemic index of 65. And lactose, the sugar in cow's milk, has an index of only 46. And as the CEO of Oatly, you really don't want the public to find out that your oat milk can blow their blood sugar to the stars. Lucky for you, the FDA doesn't require you to list sugars created during the manufacturing process in your ingredients. So obviously, you leave maltose out. And just to make sure everyone gets the point, you'll write on your website that Oatly is cane sugar free. Ah, yes. Oatly is cane sugar free, but it's not free of other sugars. But hey, no one needs to know that one serving of your oat milk has the same blood sugar effect as a can of Coke. <laughs> as long as your milk is sweet and delicious and it makes people feel good that they're not drinking cow's milk, the masses will keep chugging it down. And now all you need is a few more ingredients and your million dollar milk is ready to serve. The next thing you need to make your fake milk just as rich and creamy as cow's milk is some fat. But not just any kind of fat. You need the cheapest fat you can find, like Expeller Press canola oil. On the Oatly carton, you'll see this labeled as rapeseed oil, which is the actual name for canola oil. Yes, it's actually called rapeseed. And the thing about canola oil is that it contains trans fats. And the thing about trans fats is that they're not like real fats that are found in nature. No, trans fats are an artificial man-made fat that is created during the oil manufacturing process. And needless to say, these artificial trans fats are an abomination for your health. Alzheimer disease, heart disease, breast cancer, colon cancer, diabetes, you name it, trans fats play a role. And even though trans fats were banned by the FDA in 2015, they still allowed food companies to include 0.5 grams per serving while still being able to put the label zero grams of trans fats on the packaging. We have all these products 
that have up to 10% trans fats. They're riddled with this nasty stuff and they still get to put a big fat zero on the package. And guess what else is in canola oil? Aldehydes, a toxin found in oxidized seed oil that has been shown to raise cancer risk exponentially. And apparently the canola oil you're using in your oat milk has been heated and therefore oxidized. But you're gonna need more than just canola oil to bring your oat milk recipe to cow milk standards. You'll also need an emulsifier, like dipotassium phosphate. Emulsifiers are what actually allow the water and seed oils in your concoction to mix. And dipotassium phosphate is an emulsifier that was originally derived from urine and animal bones that will cause your oat milk to foam up like a dream. That way, baristas will become obsessed with it. Never mind that phosphate additives have been linked to chronic kidney disease, calcium deposits in the arteries, and higher rates of heart attacks in young men. And don't even worry that the Washington Post calls phosphate additives the next trans fats. None of that matters, because now you have the perfect formula, the perfect chemical concoction to convince the world to give up cow's milk for good. There's just one ingredient left, a marketing campaign to dupe the masses. No matter how good your artificial milk tastes, if you don't have the right marketing, none of that is gonna matter. The food industry is competitive. Shelf space is competitive. So not only do you need to somehow convince the masses that drinking this chemical concoction is good for you, you also have to convince them that drinking oat milk is cool. So you need to find a way to create a cult following. And here's how you're gonna do it. Step one. Hire a bunch of artists, writers, and marketing experts to help run Oatly's Department of Mind Control. Welcome, future oat drink lover. Oats. Step two, cover every major city with Oatly propaganda. Step three, create a string of quirky YouTube videos with oat milk cartons as characters. Step four, change the packaging of your oat milk to something more cool and hip and write things like join the post milk generation cult on the side. And so we use the packaging to tell our story and to become less corporate and more real. On the side of the bottle that lists all the seed oils and chemicals that you'd rather people not pay attention to, title it as the boring side. We've had a big debate every time we, we talk about oatly milk. We, we, it's a running, I don't know if it's a running joke or, or what, but we say, is it really milk? Um, so we always say, is this really milk? That's one of the conversations we have. And the other is, is it really better for us? We're one of the very few companies with an official claim in Europe stating that if you drink three glasses of oat milk every day, you either maintain or lower your cholesterol. Now that is scientifically proven and backed up and that is official claim that is related to, to Oatly only, you know? So is it a better milk for you? Yes, it is. And that's also part of why we're so successful. Step five, drop off samples to baristas and tell them it's the greatest thing since, well, cow's milk. And this final step will be your secret weapon. Because once the baristas saw how well your oat milk foamed, they started to push it on their customers. And within months, everyone was ordering oat milk at Starbucks. It was a massive craze. And so it happened by using all these different touch points to communicate the message that not only is Oatly supposedly more healthy than milk, but it's also cool and environmentally friendly for you to drink it. You created a cult. A cult of people who buy your product because they also want to show that they're hip, health conscious, and care about the environment. Which is why in the year 2020, Oatly sales grew by 200%. While other plant-based milk brands, they only grew by 1% to 2%. But now, there's a target on your back. And a certain someone has turned sour over your success. What have we here? OK. 
cow's milk. Really? As the head of Oatly's Department of Mind Control, you made sure to take jabs at cow's milk at every chance you got. Well, no cow. No, 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 well. No! Hey, hey! It's my old pal Milk. According to you, replacing cow's milk with oat milk would save the planet. And oat milk is healthier than cow's milk. It has way less saturated fat. And saturated fat is super bad for you, which is a total lie, by the way. And you are putting these claims against cow's milk everywhere. Commercials, print ads, even right on the carton. And the dairy farmers? Yeah, they weren't too happy about this. And what do huge corporations do when they're not happy? They whip out the lawyers. In 2015, the Swedish Dairy Board sued you for slandering cow's milk in your commercials. And in the end, they won. You had to pay around $100,000 for the damage you caused to their milk sales. And eventually, a law was passed in Europe that made it illegal for any company to call plant-based milk, milk. You had to call it drink or milk with a Y. But did this stop you from pushing your chemical soup to the masses? No, it actually just made you more determined. You published legal documents from your dairy board trial on your website, and you made commercials that framed the dairy board as a bully, and you, the poor, innocent victim. And this actually made you more popular than you were before. The public started seeing you as human, as the little guy, someone they could relate to. It was honestly a genius marketing strategy. And so your sales continued to rise. But there was just one small problem. See, you went so hard with your marketing campaign that you forgot you were still making your oat milk from a small factory in Europe and people were buying so much of it that there wasn't enough to go around. The grocery stores were running out. The coffee shops were crossing oat milk off their menus. You tried to open another factory in New Jersey, but just couldn't get things going fast enough. And pretty soon, companies like Chobani and Earth's Best started selling their own oat milk products to replace yours. What can we say? The free market is ruthless. But you still have one move left. And so there you were, a thirsty mob at your doorstep and not a drop of milk to spare. And you could just sell your company and run. But then all of that time and money you spent building your cult would have gone to waste. And let's be real, only an idiot would give up this great of a business. So to dig yourself out of this pit, you call one of the largest investment firms in the world, the Blackstone Group. And you ask them if they would be interested in making an investment in your company. Lucky for you, Blackstone gave you $200 million in exchange for 10% of Oatly, and it was exactly what you needed to increase production. And this whole investment thing seemed like a good idea at the time, but optically, it wasn't the best move. That's because what you didn't realize is that the Blackstone Group supports a bunch of companies that straight up destroy the environment, like Hydrovias do Brasil, a Brazilian company that was accused of deforestation in the Amazon. And once your cult members found out that they were unknowingly supporting these corrupt companies through your connection to Blackstone, they were furious. They started to post all over social media, threatening to boycott your brand. Because one of the main reasons why people bought Oatly in the first place was to reduce their carbon footprint. Or was that a lie too? bigger things, more important things. This is a recent campaign that we just did where we said like, if how are people going to reduce the amount of carbon that they consume, the products that they consume, unless they know what each product, what's the carbon footprint of each product. In 2021, the UK's Advertising Standards Authority accused Oatly of making false claims about carbon emissions and discovered that they only consulted just one climate person to get their 73% figure. And researchers like Jane Buxton 
found that dairy milk actually produces only one third of the carbon emissions that oat milk does. So the whole idea that you're going to save the environment by drinking processed oat water is just a flat out lie. So here in the UK, dairy cows and beef cattle and, um, and sheep, so all ruminants of any kind, um, are responsible for about 7% of our emissions. Why, are, why do we think cows are so bad? And incidentally, you know, the methane argument is, is, is dragged up again and again. Yes, cows emit methane, but so does everything. Everything emits methane, including wetlands, which emit 20% of all methane. Now, you may be wondering, well, okay, evil food supply, oat milk is obviously terrible, but the other nut milks can't be that bad now, can they? Like, what about almond milk? Well, sorry to say this, all these milk alternatives are pretty much the same. It's all just water, the nut of your choice, and the same long list of toxic ingredients. Seed oils, emulsifiers, and lots and lots of other food additives. And sometimes there's barely even a sprinkle of real food in these milk substitutes. There's basically no almonds in the almond milk in your fridge right now. So if there's no almonds in my almond milk, what's in there? Well, it's mostly water, emulsifiers, gums, and oil. If you pour an eight ounce cup of almond milk like this, there's about five almonds in that cup. And in this whole carton, it's only about 2% almonds. Now you may be thinking to yourself, okay, fine. So other nut milks aren't any better. I'll just drink orange juice then, like Simply Orange. I mean, it is just Simply Oranges, right? It even says not from concentrate. So it can't be that bad, right? Well, think again. See, the Simply brand is owned by Coca-Cola, and they just got caught doing something that is gonna make your blood boil. Coca-Cola, the parent company, just got sued because of high levels of toxic forever chemicals in their all-natural Simply Tropical Juice. The forever chemicals in question are called PFAS. PFAS are what make non-stick pans not stick, while also being linked to things like liver damage, low birth weight, birth defects, delayed development, and newborn deaths. But the best part about forever chemicals is that they stay in your body literally forever. And Simply's products were found to contain more than 100 times the EPA's recommended levels. And we expose it all in our latest newsletter that you can read for free right now by clicking the link below. This new newsletter of ours is where we get to alert you on breaking news stories about environmental toxins right away as they happen. We simply can't make these thorough documentaries on breaking stories that fast. So this newsletter is the perfect way to stay informed so that you can protect yourself and the people you care about. So click the square on the screen or scroll down and click the link below to sign up for free right now. It only takes 15 seconds.